Kevin Harbison was living his lifelong dream, playing for the Naval Academy's football team and becoming an officer in the military. But in one short moment, his life was about to change. I was just jogging down the field and my knee happened to buckle. Um, and I knew something was wrong. Suddenly, he was in constant pain and had a difficult time doing simple things he had once taken for granted. Kevin had damaged the cartilage in his knee. I couldn't run. Um, I was having a hard time getting up and down stairs. And even worse, he faced not being commissioned as a military officer upon graduating from college. His dream of a career in the armed forces was in jeopardy. I had worked so hard to get where I was, and it seemed like my life was completely altered. Kevin sought treatment from an orthopedic surgeon, and after a previous surgery failed to repair the injury, his surgeon implanted him with Cardicel. It's allowed me to live a, an active lifestyle that means a lot to maintaining you know, my happiness in life, and that's just tremendously important. After his surgery, Kevin graduated from the Naval Academy and for eight years was an officer in the Marines. If it wasn't for Cardassaw, I don't know if I want to think about what my life would be like today. And today, he's still playing football. I like to throw the ball around still with my friends, and it, it was an important part of my life growing up, and to be able to, to do that now is, is uh, a wonderful thing. I was doing some extreme skiing and I came off of a 20 foot drop off uh, and, and, and really landed wrong. Uh, it was probably the most pain I've, I've felt ever in my life. Cartilage injuries can be painful and can make even the most simple tasks like climbing upstairs difficult and even impossible. It can prevent you from living life to the fullest. Articular cartilage damage can occur from sports activities, traumatic injuries, work-related injuries, or just daily wear and tear. Often, other knee conditions present in patients with knee cartilage injuries can cause or contribute to the damage. Some examples of these include being bow-legged, knock-kneed, or having ligament or meniscal tears. Your knee is a complex joint made up of three different bones, the thigh bone or femur, the shin bone or tibia, and the kneecap or patella as well as different types of cartilage and important ligaments that connect the femur and thigh bones. Cartilage protects the joint and aids in movement. There are two types of cartilage in the knee. The meniscus is made up of two crescent-shaped wedges that act as a cushion between the thigh bone and the shin bone in your knee. Articular cartilage, also known as hyaline cartilage, is the durable tissue that covers the ends of bones. It provides a smooth and impact-resistant surface to help you during activities such as walking, kneeling, running, and jumping. Cartilage cannot heal on its own when damaged. If left untreated, articular cartilage damage may lead to osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis, a more serious, degenerative, and irreversible condition in which the surface of the bone becomes less protected, resulting in pain, inflammation, decreased mobility, and muscle atrophy. If you have sustained a knee cartilage injury and have had a previous surgery but continue to be dissatisfied with the result, consider Cardicel. Cardicel is indicated for the repair of symptomatic cartilage injuries of the femoral condyle caused by acute or repetitive trauma in patients that have had an inadequate response to a prior arthroscopic or other surgical repair procedure. It is not indicated for the treatment of cartilage damage associated with generalized osteoarthritis. The size and location of the cartilage injury, as well as your age and activity level, are a few of the factors that help your surgeon decide if Cardicel is right for you. This video will provide information about cartilage injuries and will take you step by step through the Cardicel procedure.
Carticel is a biologic product used to repair an articular cartilage injury in the knee. Carticel uses a patient's own cultured cartilage cells, also known as chondrocytes, to repair the articular cartilage in the knee during a surgical procedure called autologous chondrocyte implantation. Carticel is the name of the cells that are grown from the samples or biopsy taken from a patient's knee. When implanted into a cartilage injury, these cells can form new hyaline-like articular cartilage. Carticel has been shown to reduce symptoms such as pain and improve function in patients with damage to articular cartilage of the knee. As with any surgical procedure, there are important safety considerations to keep in mind. Complications after surgery, such as symptoms of catching, locking, and pain can sometimes occur. A surgeon may need to perform another surgical procedure to remedy any issue. Most often, these surgeries are arthroscopic in nature. During the first step of Carticel, an orthopedic surgeon will perform an arthroscopy, a procedure in which the surgeon inserts a pencil-sized camera under the skin to assess the interior of the knee. If the surgeon believes the patient may be a good candidate for Carticel, a small sample or biopsy of healthy cartilage is taken. The healthy cartilage is sent to Genzyme Biosurgery, the manufacturers of Carticel, where the cells are extracted and expanded until there are enough to repair the injured area. This process takes about three to five weeks, and these new cultured cells are now the product referred to as Carticel. Carticel can also be safely stored, so you can schedule your surgery at a time that's most convenient for you. During the second step of the Carticel procedure, the surgeon will perform an arthrotomy, making an incision in the knee. The surgeon will assess the injury and remove any damaged cartilage. Removing the damaged cartilage allows for the proper environment for Carticel to grow. The area is then covered with a patch of tissue similar to a manhole cover, and Carticel is injected underneath. Sometimes other knee conditions, such as being bow-legged or knock-kneed or having a ligament injury, may cause or contribute to the damage. These conditions may be corrected prior to or at the same time as the Carticel implantation. Over time, Carticel will attach to the bone and multiply to form healthy new cartilage. In a large clinical study, Carticel demonstrated a reduction in symptoms such as pain, and improvement in daily and sports activities. I'm very active now, so I'm, I'm, I'm biking, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm skiing. I've definitely returned to a very active lifestyle. Carticel's been great because I can now live a normal life just like everybody else. Although every patient and injury is different, and every patient may progress through rehabilitation at a different pace, for all patients, rehabilitation is vital to the success of Carticel treatment. Each rehabilitation protocol is customized to meet the specific needs of the patient as prescribed by their surgeon. However, there are some recovery benchmarks most patients share. Well, immediately following the implant was probably the most difficult part of the procedure. Within the first 6 to 24 hours after surgery, you'll begin using a continuous passive motion machine, or a CPM machine. A CPM machine allows the knee to move without engaging muscles. During this time, the use of a CPM machine is important as it provides a favorable environment for the cells to grow, as well as reduces the likelihood of the knee joint becoming stiff. You know, I, I probably used the CPM machine for, uh, I think they say, you know, four to six hours a day uh, at different periods, and I would watch TV and, and, and do things or read. Depending on the location of the injury, as well as other procedures you may have to undergo, you may be instructed by your surgeon to use crutches for the first few weeks after surgery so that weight is kept off your knee. Gradually, weight can be placed on the knee and activity level will increase. The surgeon will prescribe basic exercises or physical therapy to assist you in rehabilitation. Around six months after surgery, many patients return to low-impact sports such as swimming, skating, and cycling. Higher-impact sports such as jogging, running, and aerobics may be performed as early as eight months depending on the size of the injury. The turning point for me probably had to be 
when I got off crutches because I knew that most of the hard work was over. And between 8 and 18 months, patients may be able to return to unrestricted activities which may include more rigorous sports such as tennis, basketball, and football. It is important to remember that the recovery process is unique for each patient. Throughout your rehabilitation, it is important to discuss the program with your surgeon in order to maximize the success of your surgery. If at any time during or after the rehabilitation process you experience problems with your knee, you should contact your surgeon. While Cardicel is generally safe, there are risks associated with the procedure. Complications after surgery, such as symptoms of catching, locking, and pain can sometimes occur. A surgeon may need to perform another surgical procedure, most often arthroscopic in nature, to remedy any issues. Subsequent procedures are common in nearly half of patients. Probably a year and a half, two years out of it, um, I, I, I sort of let myself um, be more active, do the biking, do the tennis, uh, you know, play soccer, you know, go out and, and run around a little bit. Um, and it was at that point that I, I, I really knew that I had made the right decision. Paulina Ramirez loves dancing, especially Latin dance. Dancing is incredibly important. It's the way I socialize with my friends. It's the way I relieve stress. It's the way I get energy. It's the way I enjoy music. It's the way I enjoy life. So when a piece of cartilage broke loose in her knee, forcing her off the dance floor, Paulina knew she had to do something. I eventually stopped exercising altogether, um, and uh, the one thing that I, that I, well, I would just push through is, is the dancing, um, until it got to the point where I couldn't, um, I couldn't even do that. Paulina sought treatment, and after several consultations with doctors and a previously failed surgical attempt to repair the injury, she chose Cardacel. Paulina felt Cardacel would give her the best opportunity to dance again. It was the best decision I made. And just six months after the implantation, Paulina began to notice a difference in her ability to perform simple daily activities. All the effort that I put into to my recovery, the dedication to those hours on the machine and in the pool and, and everything else, that they, they were worth it. So my knee was getting better. I felt better. And soon after completing her rehabilitation, Paulina was able to pursue her passion. The first thing I did was, um, was call up the dance studio and, and, and start taking lessons because I don't want to put that off. You know, now I've, I've been given the second chance and um, I can take advantage of it, so it's fantastic. Now, she's preparing for her first dance competition. I, I feel like I have my entire future ahead of me. I can start something today and know that the knee's going to last me a lot longer than, um, than my, uh, I don't know if it'll last longer than my motivation, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll go hand in hand. When considering Cardicel, you are sure to have a lot of questions. Here are answers to a few of the more common ones. What makes Cardicel different from other treatments? Cardicel is the only treatment that uses your own cultured cells to repair damaged cartilage. Other treatments use transplanted tissue or foreign fillers. Also, Cardicel, unlike other surgical procedures, does not damage the underlying bone. Is Cardicel safe? Cardicel is FDA approved and has been used to treat thousands of patients since its introduction in 1995. The occurrence of a second procedure following Cardicel implantation to correct symptoms such as catching, locking, and pain is common and generally arthroscopic in nature. I've had previous surgeries on my knee. Can I still try Cardicel? Yes. Cardicel is an autologous cellular product indicated for the repair of symptomatic cartilage defects of the femoral condyle, medial, lateral, or trochlea, caused by acute or repetitive trauma in patients who have had an inadequate response to a prior arthroscopic or other surgical repair procedure. Will I still be able to play sports? While results vary from patient to patient, studies have shown that patients treated with Cardicel felt a reduction in pain 
as well as improvements in function and the ability to return to daily activities and even sports. Will my insurance pay for Cardacel? Most insurance plans cover the cost of Cardacel. Check with your plan administrator for more information. To speak with a Cardacel Care Coordinator, call 1-800-453-6948. You may want to discuss the following questions with your orthopedic surgeon to determine if Cardacel may be right for you. Do you have knee pain that limits your ability to play sports or perform daily activities? Are you interested in learning about a treatment option that provides an opportunity to resume an active lifestyle? Have you had one or more surgeries for a knee cartilage injury in the past and have been dissatisfied with the results? Are you willing to dedicate yourself to a rehabilitation program following surgery? If so, then Cardacel may be right for you. There is some important safety information you'll need to know about Cardacel. Cardacel is for autologous use and is indicated for the repair of symptomatic cartilage defects of the femoral condyle caused by acute or repetitive trauma in patients who have had an inadequate response to a prior arthroscopic or other surgical repair procedure. Cardacel should only be used in conjunction with debridement, placement of a periosteal flap, and rehabilitation. The independent contributions of the autologous cultured chondrocytes and other components of the therapy to outcome are unknown. It is not indicated for the treatment of cartilage damage associated with generalized osteoarthritis. It is not recommended for patients whose knee meniscus has been surgically removed unless the patient has undergone surgical reconstruction prior to or concurrent with Cardacel implantation. Pre-existing conditions including meniscal tears, joint instability, or malalignment of the joint should be corrected prior to or concurrent with Cardacel implantation. It should not be used in patients with a known history of hypersensitivity to gentamicin other aminoglycosides or materials of bovine origin. In addition, it should not be used in patients who have previously had cancer in the bones, cartilage, fat, or muscle of the treated limb. Use in children, patients over age 65, or in joints other than the knee has not yet been assessed. The occurrence of a subsequent surgical procedure, primarily arthroscopy, following Cardacel implantation is common. The most common reactions, greater than or equal to 5%, derived from the study of the treatment of articular repair, STAR, include arthrofibrosis joint adhesions, graft overgrowth, chondromalacia or chondrosis, cartilage injury, graft complication, meniscal lesion, graft delamination, and osteoarthritis. Cardacel is relatively safe and poses little risk of disease transmission since you are using your own tissue and not transplanted tissue from a donor. Cardacel provides patients the opportunity to significantly improve knee function so that they can live a more active life. You deserve the same. Absolutely, Cardacel has had a dramatic effect on my life. I, you know, would hope that other people would have the same thing done because it really works and it really makes you feel a lot better. I, I really feel that I made the right decision and, and that my life has returned to, to, to where I want it to be. Cardacel, take the next step.